G'day guys, welcome back to Glen's Aussie Barbecue. Today we are doing a lamb pie, hot pot pie sort of a thing. I haven't quite worked out exactly what I'm going to call it yet, but it's going to be fucking good. Now first off, let's prep our lamb shoulder. I'm going to start by scoring the fat cap. Now scoring helps the fat to render, also allows us to get that rub that we're about to use into the meat. So don't worry if you cut too deep. We're not playing for sheep stations here, people. It doesn't fucking really matter. So we're going to flip it over now that we've scored that. And all I'm going to do is hit it with salt and pepper. Fuck off. Pat that on. Flip it over. Drizzle of olive oil. I'm going to rub that in. Now, I didn't do this on the other side for two reasons. A, I'm an idiot, and B, I forgot. That's really one reason. Fresh rosemary. Now I know a lot of people are screaming, where's the fucking garlic? Well, we're gonna make a nice garlic sauce with this lamb pie. So I'm gonna leave the garlic off and I'm just gonna go with salt, pepper and rosemary. I'm gonna pop that aside now. I'm gonna set up the tomato. Now as you can see, I've still got the remnants of my last cook in here, so I'm just going to clean this out. Add some fresh lump. Going to add a double fire cube. And today, I'm going to run with cherry wood. I'm going to space it around, like so. Oh yeah. We'll let that burn for a while now, we'll come back. Now that's been burning for a little while, I'm just gonna pop this on top like so. A little, little Kamado Joe barbecue hack for you. If your deflector plates are broken and you don't wanna use your X-Rack, you wanna go down low, the classic grill fits perfectly in the bottom part of the low and slow area of the divide and conquer rack of the Big Joe. So I've got the broken deflector plate, I can just put that on there like that and still run down low if I want to, which I do today, funnily enough. Boom. Voila. Ugly as fuck, but it works. Got a drip tray in there today because lamb shoulder can be quite fatty. That's going to catch all that fat. Going to close the dome now, make sure all vents are fully open. We'll come back and set our vents. It's been around 25 minutes since I closed the dome. I'm running with both vents fully open. Just on the 100 Celsius mark, I'm gonna set my vents now. Now keep in mind, I will put a photo of my vent settings in the video, but every Kamado is different. So you're gonna to have to make your own vent settings and work it out as you go. Well, it's been just on an hour and a half. We are dead on 150 Celsius. Heat soaked, and I know that was fucking hot to touch. So we'll put that lamb in now, we'll get cracking. All right, so here's our lamb shoulder. Come back in an hour or so, and we'll do something else. So we are two hours down, <laughs> just a touch under 150 Celsius, and let's have a look at this lamb shoulder. It is looking pretty bloody good, I don't mind saying, just up the fucking ISO there a bit, so we can see a little bit better, and it is looking good. So now, it's time to start doing the next part. I meant to bring something out with me, but I didn't, so I'll come back in a minute, and I'll do this again. And I am back with what I needed. I'm going to start organising our sauce for this pie. Well, I'm saying pie, but I haven't decided what I'm going to call it yet. I'm going to call it something. Something, something. I'm going to smoke some tomatoes there, whole vine ripe tomatoes. I'm going to start making our sauce, and that's a good start. But we'll come back. <laughs> I forgot a frog in my throat. I need to go get a scotch. Be back later. I'm going to leave you on there for half an hour or so, or less. I haven't decided yet, but I need a drink. Yes, I do. So our lamb shoulder's looking good. Tomatoes are on the tomato as we speak. Let's have a look at what else we need for this recipe. I'm going to call it a pot pie or a hot pot with a pie top, but it's not a pie top. It's not a pastry top. It's a potato top, but we'll get to that later on. What else do we need? Mushrooms, garlic, salt, rosemary, potato, oil, olive oil, veggie stock. I'm using veggie stock. You can use beef or lamb if you like. I like veggie stock. Using a Shiraz today because I left the cab sab in the wife's car. She's gone. Pepper, Lego paste, and of course, 
some extra crushed tomatoes. Got a bit of passata as well. So this is what's going to make our beautiful sauce and we're going to smoke it on here for a few hours and just keep adding as we go what we need to make the flavours we want. So I'm not going to really measure anything, it's just a add, subtract, drink and eat, taste and go. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> the flies have come to play. Alright, so what we're going to do now is get our sauce started. I'm going to start off with some veggie stock. Tablespoon of tomato paste. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt. Drizzle a little bit of oil in there, which I probably should have done at the start, but it doesn't really matter. That is it. That is all I'm doing. Let's go to the tomato. Oh yeah. Have a go at that. Move those tomatoes there. Pop our sauce in here yeah. like this. Put our tomatoes in there like that. And we'll just let that go now. This is reading around 165 Fahrenheit at the moment. That is pretty much where you would normally wrap. I'm not wrapping today, obviously, because I'm going to put this, once this sauce gets to where it needs to be, this is going to go in the sauce and move it over. And if you're wondering where the vegetables are, there are no vegetables. Because I don't want this to turn into a stew or a ragu or anything like that. This is a pot pie. This is a hot pot without any veggies, okay? This is going to be served with roast vegetables. So it doesn't need veggies in the dish. We'll come back later and check this out. Now we've peeled our garlic. Just going to pop it into a little ramekin like this. Give it a dose of oil. Give that a mix around, like so, and pop that in the tomato. Okay, we'll smoke these garlics. And we'll add them to the sauce later. How bloody good does that look? Oh. Ordinarily I wouldn't put a lid on top of my pan like that, but I should have put the sauce on earlier. I sort of left myself a little bit shorter time. So I'll put the lid on just to speed things up a little bit. How good is that garlic? <laughs> So we've reduced our sauce down now, played with the flavours, just going to add some more rosemary here. Oh, 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 oh. I don't mind saying this is going to be bloody amazing. Hopefully. Take our lamb shoulder now, pop it in the sauce. Now I will move that over there in the centre. I'm going to flip that lamb shoulder probably every half an hour. Okay, so it gets nicely coated in that sauce. We're just gonna let that go. This is gonna be fucking amazing. I can't wait for this. I literally cannot wait to eat this. We'll come back a little later on. So we are close to eight hours on this cook and everything is looking fantastic. I'm gonna take this off now. And I'm gonna pull that lamb shoulder. So now it's time to pull this lamb and mix it through the sauce. So let's just see how nice and tender this is. Normally you'd Normally you would rest this in an esky, but I'm not doing that kind of cook today. So let's just have a look. Oh. <laughs> have a go at that. Have a go at that. I hope you can see that. This fucking fly is flying around my head like fucking fighter pilots. Let's pull this fucking lamb now. Oh, seriously. Have a look at this fucking lamb. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Look at that. Have a look at I just want to eat it now. I just want to eat it now. That's amazing. Oh. Oh! Fucking flies. Alright, I'm going to pull this quick. Of course you can do this. You can, you can buy a butterfly or even butterfly it yourself debone it, uh, but I prefer to burn my fucking fingers, it's fucking hot. I prefer to do it with, I prefer to do it with the bone in, so that's just me. I'll get another fork because that's way too fucking hot. Oh, oh. 
Now that's all pulled through. Now we get our potato that we sliced up fine and we do a little potato top, just like so. Now we've done our potato top and the flies have fucked off. I'm just gonna give it a, a brush with a bit of butter. Now I've raised the temperature in the Big Joe to around 180 Celsius. Crisping that top up, take it off, take some photos, eat some food, and we are fucking done. This was a fun cook, although I should have actually uh, stopped drinking <laughs> because it started to annoy me. But it's been a fun cook. Let's finish it off. So now we are done. Got very little light now, it's got a little bit dark. I'm gonna take that off, dress it, and eat it. Well, this cook took a lot longer than I anticipated, but I'll tell you what, Let's have a look at this. Oh, look, it's still nice and juicy. Get a bit of mushroom there. Oh, some meat. Oh, taste test right now. Oh, mm. sorry, it's fucking hot. But it tastes amazing. These took longer than expected. Uh, get to that point, but this was worth it. This was worth it. This was fucking really worth it. I love this. Pot pie, pot pot, whatever you're gonna fucking call it. This was fucking amazing. Thanks for watching. Check out some bloopers at the end of this. Hit like and subscribe. I'll catch you next time. Close the dome, I'm running dome, fucking dome you idiot. It's important to send you that oh, scent. Fuck me, fucking drunk. Fuck me, fucking drunk. Get this one take you fat fucking idiot. I'm gonna be cooking at 200 Celsius today, though no, I'm not, 150, fuck with. Then around 25 cent, fuck me, fuck. But, you, but it, but, with a lamb, with a lamb, lamb shoulder, fuck me, unbelievable. Salt, pepper, and a bit of Fucking oil. Where's the fucking oil? Fuck me. Fuck me. <laughs> uh, fuck me. Fucking drunk. <laughs> now first off, let's. Now first off. Now keep going, douchebag. Now first off, let's wait for that bird. All we're doing. All we're. Now don't. Now don't. Fuck me. All we. <laughs> fuck me dead. Now what this does is it. <laughs> Now what this does is it helps. <laughs> oh, this is never gonna cook in time. Now that's been burning. What the fuck? Why is that even fucking recording now? Oh fuck! I bet you didn't record everything else. Fuck! Oh, four minutes. Fuck me. Fuck me. Oh fuck me. And here's our garlic. Now here's the. Yep. So this is all coming together beautifully. Hang on a minute. I forgot my gloves. That's gonna be fucking hot. Oh. <sighs>